Here, Rovers, we'd like to express our sincere gratitude for the beta test, yada, yada, yada. We've got some optimizations and plans for the future. Let's get started. Combat, overall combat experience optimizations, poor sound effects, which I've also felt in some of the areas. It was like, maybe not weighty enough on some hits. Didn't feel like the sound effects were, were playing properly or loud enough, all these different things. Um, hard to give you like an example directly because there was just so many abilities and so many characters I tested, but definitely did understand like uh, the green spear guy. I feel like sometimes his hits were, were just like not the right animation sound, like the, like the right depth or, or something. But this hit feedback, yes, yes, I agree. Weapon hit feedback, echo skills, resonant skills. Sometimes things felt floaty. It felt like I was doing this big crazy attack and I was just kind of like, it would be the same as if I was like wielding a baguette. I don't know how to describe it, but it didn't feel like there was like enough, you know, weight and, and knockback and, and, and kind of uh, feedback as well that I'm hitting this target. I am pounding this target. It just fell off. All these games are too grindy. I wish I had a new idle game to play. Oh wait, I do! Immortal Rising is an extreme idle action RPG where you raise immortals beyond their limits to defeat all evil. You can fight with different weapon types that will produce different results from range to daggers to swords that will devastate your enemies. There's even magic, baby! They've got boss fights, PvP, and it's the first global anniversary. So click the link down below and get started today with Immortal Rising. It's free, it's fun, it's furious. We're going to be improving jumping by adjusting the animation speed, camera transitions, and landing feedback to make it feel more natural. I didn't notice anything with the jumping, but like, sure, make the animations feel better. I, I guess it was kind of vertical. Maybe they're going to make you launch a little bit further or something like that. I I'm not sure what they're going to do there, but sure. I guess there are some kind of platforming type areas that the jumping needs to be fixed, but that's a good change. But here's what I really love. Character specific combat optimizations. Um, adjusting Ling Yang and Jian Shin's moveset for an elevated overall combat experience. We don't know what that means. We have no idea. But Ling Yang, Ling Yang, more than waves. Um, maybe, maybe because it's like, the fast attacks, but both of these monk characters are getting fixed. So my question is maybe if it's the range of their melee hits or something like that could be could be the fix. Uh, I tested out both of them and I didn't love either of them if I'm being honest with you. Uh, but maybe that is the fix is, is because they're melee, they need to extend the range to give them more um, quality of life, I suppose. But they didn't say what it is. They just said adjusting their moveset for an elevated combat experience. Adjusted Verena's HP restoration so she can use her photosynthesis energy more efficiently. So my guess is they're going to make it so she can just heal your team more often. Because with her, so if you look at the bottom of the screen there, she's essentially got one, two, three stacks. You can get a stack for using her E, for doing her normal attack combo. I think for her, like her all, I don't know. It's so frustrating to just get to a level where I can now heal my team. It felt terrible. She's supposed to be a healer and 80% of the time she cannot heal your team. So she's just a bad damage dealer. I think she is the worst unit in the game. Like if you're talking about QQ or sorry, not QQ, Chi Chi. She is worse than Chi Chi by far. Unless they fix it, unless they change her kit. So I don't know what they're going to do, but this chick was terrible. If I got her at the start, I would be re-rolling, honestly. I would be re-rolling all day. Improvements to Calcaro's kit. His extra intro skill necessary means will be available by default. Um, I don't... I didn't know it wasn't available. Calcaro is like the Sephiroth looking guy and was really cool. I was a big fan. So if there was something where this wasn't applying, the fact that it's now applying is just makes him stronger and he's seems really cool. But this is really cool. A new combat skill practicing dungeon. We're introducing a combat practice dungeon where you can familiarize yourself with characters, unique combat mechanisms and practice how to combo. Sure. Um, I don't know if it will have pop-ups and, and assistance, but that'll be pretty cool. 
Aside from the points above, we've also started working on another, or sorry, on other frequently reported issues, such as a bad camera experience, which, yes. Frequent lock-on loss, yes. Enemies quitting combat, didn't see that much. And counterattack failures. This may be the um, the counterattack from Jiang Xing, or no, what's her name? Where is it? Jiang Xin. Her, her attacks... Um, you shield up, and then you do a counterattack. There were some times where it felt like it just wasn't going on. It just wasn't happening. So, I definitely understand that. I can understand that not working, because it felt like it wasn't for me. But look at this. They're also doing an update to the Echo system. This is a big part of the game. Like This is huge. This is essentially the artifact system, the, the relic system. We've received a lot of feedback on the Echo system. This was actually one of the biggest things that 1010 and, a, and, and I think Fob Master said will be a problem in the game. So let's see what they say. We've received suggestions and concerns about how the echo hunting experience is too grindy and how the game lacked disposable options of unwanted, echo, unwanted echoes and other issues. To address this issue, we're planning to implement the following. Let's see what you got cooking, baby. Make it easier to obtain various echoes. I don't know if that means better drop rates or, or what that means, but sure. We plan to make echoes available through participating in in-game events Completing daily activities and other means. This might be some high-level echoes that you can just get a guaranteed drop of. Sure. Get your builds up and running. We'll have to see what that is. Provide a better way to dispose of unused or redundant echoes. Recycling unenhanced echoes. Converting them into a new random echo of a type you have unlocked. Could be cool. You take all your trash ones. You put it in and you try to get the god roll. That works for me. I mean, why not? Returned. Tuners, when an echo, when a tuned echo is consumed. When you use tuned echoes to upgrade other echoes, a designated percentage of tuners will previously, or previously used will be returned. This is cracked. If you don't know what this is, every echo or artifact, whatever you want to call them, the echoes need to be leveled up. And in order to see a new substat, you have to use a tuner. So you have your main stats. There could be like attack percentage and crit damage. And then you need to use tuners to unlock potentially HP percentage or crit rate or whatever it might be. Okay. And so you need a lot of these tuners to level up your echoes and just see if they're a good one. But before, like this is a finite resource. There's not a lot of tuners in the game. You can't just get like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these instantly. It's it's a process to get them. And it's kind of a finite thing that's going to limit your potential. So the fact that they are now giving some back after testing and rolling a few of your, your echoes or potentially finding an upgrade and you get them back, this is massive. Like they probably doubled or tripled the potential tuners available to now check echoes. This is like actually a game-changing upgrade. This made the game so much more accessible, allows your build to come online so much easier. I think that this might even be the title of the video. They just made Wuthering Ways five times better. Because without this change, I think that the ecosystem is really frustrating. And it is something that would penalize players and they're going to feel like trash when they can't get an echo that works. So um, I'm very curious to hear what some of the other creators think on this. Because for me, this is a game changer. Make it easier to get your desired substats. We will raise the minimum number you can get with the substat rolling. Oh my god! Another cracked one! Bro, they just made the game so much better! This is insanity! If you don't know, there was a massive variation in the stats you could get. So instead of like 2.5 crit rate up to 2.9%, it would be like 2% crit rate? Or 18% crit rate. Like, it was it was these massive swings. Uh, so, you, you'd you be able to get all the substats on your gear, but they roll like trash, and it's, it's a 50%, 60% worse item than others because of the low rolls. It was so egregious that you wouldn't believe me. Like, we're talking 20% stat swings uh, because of a low roll. So, this is huge. And it should have been from the start. They just had layer upon layer upon layer of RNG. This is a game changer. So now between these two changes, the ecosystem has gotten twice, three times better. Like this is, this is nuts.
Optimize the audio equip echoes. I mean, that's fine. It doesn't matter too, too much uh, about the that stuff. Oh, that's just like a quick point. Auto equip echo mechanism. That's fine, whatever. Additionally, we'll improve the Inferno Rider's echo skill to add a new transformation mode. When equipped, you can transform, transform into the Inferno Rider. It's a mount! Yo! That's correct! That's so cool! <laughs> that is amazing! New content for Depth of Elusive Realm. Wait, what? We're going to add a tutorial stage for Depth of Illusion to help beginners understand the mechanics and enjoy it. There's going to be more playable characters added. Awesome. Additionally, you'll be able to use trial characters in this mode. Meanwhile, new high difficulty events and special boss mechanisms will be added for you to challenge. Let's go! They're adding even more to the Depth of Illusion. This is the roguelike thing. They're adding more stuff and some high difficulty stuff. Awesome. We're also working on other gameplay issues mentioned in your feedback. Here's an example. Drops from supply chests or enemies in the wild will automatically be picked up. Yo, let's fuck. This is, oh my God. Yes, dude. I hate running around and picking these up. This is so good. This is so much better. Thank you so much for this. They've got three or four banger changes here. Like, quality of life out the yin-yang, bro. Co-op mode will be available sooner at a lower union level. Sure, that's cool. Uh, a batch salvaging option for unwanted items in your backpack. Sure, that's just something that should be standard. We hope these can further improve your gameplay. Nice. Story and cutscene animations. Um, optimize the camera position and character animations in some parts of the story. Improved lip animation and eye blink animation. Sure, I didn't really notice this, but like, that's always going to be good for your immersion adjusted and rearranged the story quest progression for a smoother flow and changed the unlock prerequisites for some story quests i wonder what quest they would move around very interesting here i'm very curious what they changed my guess is instead of doing that that guys like um you know where you you go like turn into the fish and you race What's that guy's name? He's like on the first banner. You have to go do his story quest. Maybe they're going to just push that to later or something like that. I don't know. I have no idea. But it seemed random to just randomly do that quest and be kind of forced into it. Anyways. Rework sound effects in cutscenes for better performance. Sure. Improve the skip function to make it work better. Yeah, dude. Dude, the skip function was so janky. Half the time you'd be like in the corner trying to find it and then it would you'd hover over it, it would appear. You'd have to hold it for like 10 seconds for it to work. Skip, 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 skip. It's time. It's time to be skip gamers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me into the combat. Yeah, 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 yeah. We will keep polishing every detail of story cutscenes and animations to optimize the quality. We hope this will help you enjoy the story options. Other optimizations. Aside from the changes, we're addressing game issues such as Crashes, blank screens, frame drops, device overheating, improved performance on all devices is a top priority. We're also improving uh, character and environment designs, adjusting the UI for easier navigation. I thought it was easy to navigate, but I don't know why. New events and story content are in early development and we'll share our progress with you. Sure. Also, we take localization quality very seriously and it's also a big part of our future optimization. We will continuously improve the localization. Good, because there was massive issues. We're also working on the EN, JP, KR, voiceovers and stories and character voice lines. Thanks for your patience. These are our future adjustments and optimizations based on the feedback of CBT2. Can I just say how much of a breath of fresh air this is? With Genshin, it's like, here's the developer notes. Y you guys asked about, um, what do, what do we want to pretend that they asked about? Oh, you guys said that Raiden Shogun's cape was, like, a little bit ugly, so we made it more purple. <laughs> Thanks, guys. What, what was the other one? Oh, yeah. A and her animations were just a little bit too bright, and I know that a lot of you guys hate that, so we, we fixed it. They're literally going through our feedback, and most of the biggest pain points that I had, they're addressing it. They're, 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 they're fixing it now. This is insanity. This has given me so much faith in them that it's shocking.
I was already pretty hyped. Now I'm like, bro, let them cook. Let them cook. This is so cracked. Anyways, uh, not much more to say. Thanks for watching. Wuthering Waves team, Kuro, keep cooking. Good job.